Warning! This video will contain fangirl screams and maybe a kind of bit of nosebleed. Number 5. Aria Alistair. This game is wonderful. It's very good art. It is wonderful art. That's what I'm going to say the first. Wonderful art. There's nothing to say about that. Um, it doesn't have an opening. Um, well, you can't think you can have an opening to every game you get that's good, but still, it's good. Really, really good. Actually, there was no of the guys I really hated. There was some that was better than others, that's always like that, but no one I really hated. So, it's basically about a girl who is a gamer, and her name is Midori, and I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Um, he, she is a very, as I said, a very big gamer, and she really loves this game that uh, I think it, it's named Rhythm Will Online. And that's something where she plays as some warrior, and then then some ga guy uh, in that game stole something from her. H his name was Alistair, uh, so from the name. And that guy, he took um, this uh, thing from her, and she got really mad, and she said she wanted it back if she could find out who it was in real life. If she would find out who else there was in real life, then she would get the thing he stole back. So that's pretty much the plot. It's a little boring, you can see that. It's normal high school life, but still, it's good. It's so good. The illustrations, just wonderful. They, I've never seen where a game where illustrations are so well done. Um, that's one game, or two that where I know there it is, but you'll get to them later. Um, I can't believe how well done the illustrations are. That's where the shoujo part comes in. So wonderfully well done. It's just perfect, perfect illustrations. That's just thumbs up all the way. Um, the characters, kinda complex. I've seen the types before, you know, the nerd the cool popular guy and the shy guy but still they are good um, it does lays much more to the characters in that they almost seem to be the opposite that what you thought, thought in the start that's just good so the Mary, the main character she's always ve also very sweet uh, and she got a very power like person and she's saying what we want her to say so that's nice um, talking about the characters a little bit too. We got Travis. He's um, a nerd, president of the computer club. And then we got Derek. He's uh, the student council vice president, the best player on the basketball team. Very, very popular. And then that's my favorite character, Shiro. Oh my god, Shiro is just wonderful. I'm saying this just as it is, Shiro is wonderfully cute. I mean, I was like doing those fangirl screams when I was playing at first, cause, oh my god, it's so cute. I mean it. Wonderfully cute. Just, just play Shiro's path first. First play his path. If you don't, then I'll come after you. I mean it. Shiro. And go Tom Sabbath. You are a part of the Shiro fan club too. So, just one thing more Shiro is cute, and then that's all I have to say about Aria Alastair. The soundtrack is fine, I forgot that. It's fine. I think it's fine, that's not, it's not very memorable, you can say it like that. I don't really remember things from it, but so maybe someone will like it. So, please play this game, it's free. Uh, it's free, <laughs> I'll say that again. It's free. And it's wonderful. Go play it. Number four. Frozen Essence. Yep, 
now, from the picture you can look at right now, you can see that Fresno Sands don't have very good art. Even so, I must say, it's not for nothing, it's number 4 on my top 10. Because Frozen Essence is a wonderful game. It's really good. Um, the they hit the illustrations very well. Um, it's the I'm talking about the art and illustrations to start off with. Um, the illustrations uh, that went very well. I really, really like the way they put them. Even so, the art isn't very pretty you could say but you can take it. it it's something you can take if it you really like a good story actually so the story I must say the story is just the best in the world I'm almost sorry it's so good so so good um yeah the story is pretty much that you it's in the fantasy universe um, you woke up as a girl, you can change the name of the character actually, that's cool. Um, you woke wake up as a girl and you're well, sealed in some ice and it's very complicated. But um, I want, don't want to spoil anything also. But basically this world, it's potted up in the thing, some... That's very hard to explain. Um, it's potted up in... I can pronounce the word spaff I think something like that um, and that is some of the four elements there are you know there are the air spare the uh, death spare and the earth spare all those kind of things and some of them are dying or some of them doesn't exist anymore the the, the one who got the spare uh, the abilities to fight with fire or air, they're very, um, some of them are very, very not common. Um, then you woke up as a girl in some ice, wake up in some ice and you are, don't know why, but you have to be uh, kept in a castle of ice, uh, crystal realm, I think it's, it's and in there that you have to be and you need a sense and a sense life sense some that others can give you to survive you don't need food or anything and then you got three guardians to help you with that and that's pretty much plot and you don't know anything and there comes many stuff to the um, story there are this guy who's an oracle who's um, made you make that crystal yeah. then you got three guardians um, they are supposed to take care of you so that's pretty much it um, but this game when I re re really many emotions was in me when I was playing this game because it is so emotional like the characters are really really deep and really deep and um, complex and messed up some of them uh, really really something you, you don't even know if it ends good and the paths are really really long and that's so nice and the characters, as I said, was very complex, and I've played all characters' paths through. There are four dateable characters and a secret hidden character. I'll tell about them later on. And then there's a main character, and I'll start talking about her. I really like her. She's very friendly, and I can't give her a name. She, I like her. She, she got a, a good personality, I think, and she can take a lot. I wouldn't. If I were in her shoes, in real life, I wouldn't take as much as she did. Um, so that's her, and then there's um, five others. I won't talk about the secret character because that was spoiled too much. So I'll start for the top off. Um, there's Rune. Um, he's one of the guardians. He is. Um, 
a pretty calm guy. He's I kind of don't like him, I don't know why, he's just like a little too, um, I don't know, I just don't, he's fine, but I don't know, he's just a little too annoying, he annoys me for some reason, um, so then there's um, a name I can't pronounce, Arealis, Arealis, never mind, uh, the only path I haven't played, done, that's his, because, I tried so many times, but you need a very good uh, relationship with another character, and I couldn't get that because I hated that character so damn much. I'll come to her. Then there's, and um, he's is, um, uh, you know, uh, the ladies' man. And there's Varian, my second favorite character. He's, uh, He's, he's very sweet, um, maybe he's not tall enough for me, and I kind of, sometimes I kind of don't like him. Sometimes I hate all the characters because they're so dark and they really doesn't make you feel very happy. Well, I'll be fast now. Um, and then there's Karis, and he is my favorite character. Karis is wonderful. I love him so much. Karis is so, so, so wonderful. Well, and then that's, I can say fast that uh, Karis is the path I enjoyed playing the most because I would never know if it ended bad or good. And then there's Aisel, and I hate her. From the bottom of my heart, I hate her so, 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 so much. Well, but that was the character, so I'm going to talk fast so it doesn't get too long, the video. Um, then there's um, lots of characters. Then I can talk about the soundtrack. I really love the soundtrack. It's good. And um, it's an original soundtrack and you can feel that it's good. It's really good and it's really build up those emotional scenes so well that you really get into it and want to see what happens next and just uh, stay up the whole night just to play more and more and more. And um, yeah, I was kind of tired the days I played it. So yeah. The shoujo part is also pretty good. I like the shoujo part. Um, it's not as big because it's very fantasy like and dark sometimes, but you should definitely try it out even if uh, you don't want um, the art. Still, you really should try it out. Let's get another honorable mention out of the way All Sim Days by Pegasus. I won't talk much about this, but very fast. It's not an Otome game, but still you should so very much play all of them. My favorite is um, La 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 Wonderland Days, and my favorite character is Lance, and everyone is good, and you should try the new one out that, that is Number Days, it's brand new, and she began on a new project, Star Days, and please do play those as well. That's just a little recommendation there for you guys.